Hello, hello, this is Gemma from the Crafty Little Gemma and thanks for joining me today. And in today's project, we are creating the box for um, the six little cracker dies that we have um, for stamping up. Um, I am a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. This is project number three of the collaboration with Jackie Ann's Crafty Things. And we have decided that we are actually going to use this set here. It is absolutely fab. So we'll get on and do it. So what we're going to do first of all is I've picked out uh, picked out my um, DSP and my cardstock that I want to use. I've also done a frame in the decal dies and I have used the largest and then the next one down from that. So you can cut one of those. I have my little Santa that I have coloured it in and I have some little oddments along the way. I'll just move those two because that is for the box. And first of all, what I've done, I've gone ahead and I've cut six of these cracker dies and they are absolutely fab. So, pop that back in there so I don't lose anything. And this one has six of the sections. So I'm just going to go ahead and burnish all of those I have got some corresponding ribbon out of my cardstock and I am just going to glue this together really quite quickly I don't think that might be a bit too much glue on there so I'm just going to spread it out and I'm not wiping it on my trousers um, like I would normally do but you're just going to bring in them two full sides to connect in the middle and making sure you get that end. So all of these little things there should connect up. I'm just going to go ahead and tie one end with the ribbon it's up to you how long you cut the ribbon I like a little bit more to work with oh. and then I can just pull it back to where I want and snip off them edges so in mine I have these little um, lip balms that fit absolutely perfect. I'm just going to tie up the other end oh, the best I can. Because we want to get on and make the box. Pop them out. And that's your little cracker made. It literally is as simple as that. So I'll pop that to the back where all my other ones are. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our base card. And we are going to get some bits and pieces out of the way. We are going to cut it to 10 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. So you could get this bit out of an A4 cardstock. So I'll do the short bit first. Eight and a quarter by ten and three quarters. Okay, so we've done that. And I'm going to bring my other scoreboard in like so. And what we are going to do on all four sides, we are going to score at one and three eighths. So one and three eighths, one and three eighths, one and three eighths, and one and three eighths. So we can pop that to one side. We can then bring in the DSP. So I have chose this one and it has the little trees on the back 
I absolutely love it. So all we need to really concentrate on is cutting two sides, one sixteenth of an inch bigger than our last piece because we're actually having the sides exactly the same depth. So we need to cut this one at eight and five sixteenths. So I want it that way. Eight and each little one is one sixteenth. So we need five of them. So there's the eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So that is just one over the eight and a quarter. And we can cut that off. So this side is 10 and 13 sixteenths. So again, it'll just be one more sixteenth bigger than um, the other one. So that's 10. We've gone up to 10 and it wants 13 little ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Start again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 13 of them, come on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is the 10 and 3 quarters, and one more is the 13 16. And we can cut that off there. So that's the piece that we need. We're then going to bring the scorer in again. And we are doing exactly the same where we are scoring each side at one and three eighths. Cutting it a little bit bigger is a lot easier than um, trying to score at sixteenths of an inch. So that is what we have. What I am going to do is I am going to go in with my deckled dies. And I am actually going to grab the largest one, which is what we've cut this with, because this is going to sit in the acetate um, like so. So I'm going to go and I'm going to cut this out of the middle section of my top piece and then I'll be back. So I am back. I have cut the middle out. I have got my acetate and mine measures six and a half by four four and one eighth but obviously depending on what size the hole is around the middle it will be depending on how big your acetate needs to be so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges quite close and it doesn't matter because we've still got the frame that's going to sit on the inside and then I'm just going to bring that out slightly because I know it's longer than it should be and that is going to sit in there. And that's the inside, so it really doesn't have to be that neat. And don't worry. But now what we can do is we can actually fold these score lines. So that's that way. Don't glue it down like I've just done. Bring that one back in. And like so. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create these corners into little tabs. So I'm cutting up the score line. And then from the corner square section, I'm taking a wedge out. I don't wedge on both sides, but that's personal preference to me. You can if you like. But I use that straight line here to um, match up with this line here. Like so. So while it is still flat... We are going to put our frame on and there is a way that this will need to be because it will just match up. And let's just make sure 
we get it that's the right way there So just a little bit of liquid adhesive around the edges, making sure we've got it in the right way and it will just butt right up to that bit that you've cut out. Like so. So when you turn it over, you will have the white border on the inside. We can then start to construct the top. And we will just bring that side round and I make sure that is flush. there I'll then go to the next one and I'm concentrating on this side and on this side so that one just goes in and you can feel it match up the same on that side I'm just matching that straight edge up and again with the last side that last side should just match up just moved it across that side there like so that's the base the top done sorry <laughs> we're going to come in with the base and we are just going to do it in exactly the same way but we are not cutting out the middle so just to fold and burnish on all your four score lines And we're taking straight up that score line there and there. Straight up there, there, there and there. Oh no, four score li cut line, sorry. And then I'm just matching up this end again to this end. So straight in and straight across the top. If you find it easier to cut wedges out of both sides, please do so. Everybody crafts differently. Um, and it is just personal preference to how you like to do your tabs. There's no right or wrong way, really. And just the last one on there. Then I can go around for the ones I started off with and just burnish them down. So the next bit is we can actually bring in all of our little crackers that we've made. Like so. Bring it in our lid and obviously you can either have it that way or that way, depending on how you like your stripes or your pattern to be. I'm going to come in with this flourish that I have made and my little Santa, who I absolutely adore. And some dimensionals. So I'm actually having this one as the background. So I want two dimensionals there and I'm having this little flourish oops on the floor it goes so I've just added glue to the bottom bit and I just want that coming off that side a little bit more and then we can go in with our Santa So he's the main man, so he's going to have a few more dimensionals on him and he's going to sit on top with his feet at the bottom, just in front of all of that there. 
Okay, so that is my box for the six cracker die that we have. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please go and see Jackie Ann's crafty things and we'll see what she's come up with this week. And I shall see you next week. Bye-bye for now.